Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odul Sinar Scrap. We are back today to keep going on creating this beautiful shabby chic heart. So last week we did the, the structure, the little hearts. And now we're going to deal with only this portion, which is the top. And um, we're going to do the embroidery the polka dot here and then sewing them all together as one piece so i forgot i need to include the lace as well all right so this is what we're gonna do today i'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna start i'm gonna show you how to do a bigger rose like that so it's nothing really new like I've already showed you how to do those embroidery roses, the ribbon roses. So it's kind of the same technique, but we're going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to create another little cluster of roses and leaves like that, that. That makes that heart so cute. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Yeah, there's three mini roses and one big rose and uh, some leaves there and kind of a bow there with multiple lines all right so first zooming in so far i've been working a lot with seven millimeters silk ribbon but for this bigger rose i'm going to work with the 13 millimeters and I know this ribbon is a little bit expensive, but this is where it's important for me. When I bought those ribbons, I just bought the colors that I really love, like a soft pink and some greens. And uh, I didn't buy them through bundles, especially because that would be too expensive to have other colors that I wouldn't use. So depending on what you love, which color you love, you might be a little bit more um, looking for just buying the colors you, you're going to use. But I tried to do the same with chiffon silk and other ribbons, and it's definitely not the same effect. So I keep going on with those, with those silk ribbons because they're really the best for that. So if you love that style, you don't need that much to create a flower. So per flower, it's not really expensive, but you, you need to buy some sort of a, a little stash. So in order to do my rose, I'm gonna pick one of those needles that is pointy, not a tapestry one, with that has a big, a large place for the ribbon. And I'm going to work on just, this one has a fold, so I'll keep it for the one behind. I'm just going to work on one little heart for now. Um, and we want to start in the middle of that big rose. So I'm going to put that big rose about here. So remember, to do the rows, you need to do like a French knot and then you kind of sew on the ribbon. So this part here needs to, to hold well. And I don't love to create little knots because it becomes bulky. I'm going to attach this end of the ribbon with a little needle to help me build my rows. How it works when you start is that you give yourself some length. If you put a bigger length, I guess the rows will become more bulky, but not bigger. Because the size of your rows is the, the length of your ribbon from one side to the other one. It cannot become bigger. If you go longer, you'll just have a higher rose. Like it will be bigger, but in high, not in diameter. So you don't need to go too long for nothing. 
So I tend to, to get like about an inch or a little bit more than an inch. And you start with doing like if you would like to do a French knot. And then you come back with your needle and you're gonna sew around. And my trick is to sew a little bit in zigzag to make sure that the rose is, is perfectly imperfect. So you kind of try to go equally somehow. And at the end, you're gonna poke through the middle of your ribbon. Okay, now I can remove that needle and I'm gonna take my fabric and pinch my ribbon here with the rose with my fingers to pull it. So you see, I have everything under control. And now I'm gonna go through. I need to be a little bit loose without being too loose to lose it. But I need to be a little bit loose with my finger, the, the way I hold it, to give it some space. Because if, if I'm putting too much pressure with my fingers there, I might find it hard. I'm going to use those kind of long nose pliers to pull my needle because I don't know, you might be better than me, but I don't have a good grab on the, the needle without hurting myself. And I guess if you don't, if you have pain in your fingers, that's a good way to work, to use the pliers. And then you're going to pull gently and this will form your rose. So you can play around a little bit, moving or twisting the rose. You can try, and if you're not happy with the result, you can pull it again a little bit, you know, and you can try to twist it around to kind of place how it feels. In this case, I don't mind that much because I'm gonna add more to that flat, to that rose. It is just the rose middle. And even if it would be my rose, there's going to be leaves around. So I tend to not play that much, but it's an option. I mean, you can be artistic and you can play with it. Now, I want to make that rose bigger. Look at that. Look at the size we start with and we want to be to end up with something similar to that. So how we do that is I'm going to come back. And while I come back, I'm going to come back through that ribbon to kind of secure it. So it's going to lock the ribbon. And I'm going to come back close to, close to the ribbon there. So while I'm coming back, I'm going to hold that ribbon here to make sure it doesn't come through with the needle okay and again i'm gonna use my pliers it's it's a bigger ribbon and we are working with regular fabric just cotton fabric there's no holes there so i'm just giving it some pressure with moving a little bit the needle to help me and it's not that hard but i i prefer to go slowly and carefully than pulling and then getting a bad result okay so we have the ribbon now and we're gonna just go around and try to place it you can twist it a little bit if you want to kind of place it and at some point I place my fabric, I can do a little fold and go through it like that. And I just go back to the back of the heart with the needle going from the top of the ribbon to the back. And this will add one more layer of petals for the rose. And then I'm going to go slowly and when I see it placed it to my taste, 
and I mean there's there's a lot of options there you can work it out a little bit if you want you can pull more but this looks good to me so I'm gonna keep going on and what I want to do is maybe start over a little bit not close to it I'm gonna start over maybe under under it so it goes out so what I want to do maybe is to go out like from the middle again like if you open it like that if you open it like that I'm pulling the, the rows there I'm gonna go in here this is what I'm aiming here so the start of my other layer will be kind of hiding behind the middle of the rose and that layer of petal so I'm gonna hold my ribbon just to prevent damages and I'm gonna carefully pull it through not too much because if I go too far I'm gonna change the tension of that rose there so and now I'm gonna do about the same twisting around and uh, I can maybe give it more dimension by doing more twist it could be like that and sometimes I just try if I twist this way how it looks like you know or if I twist the other way how it would look like if I twist this way there's kind of a hole there there's kind of a hole here so I think the best for this one would be to go this way and then going around you see so I'm gonna do it this way and now I'm gonna hold it like that and I'm gonna maybe do grab it here grab it here and go through this is just to secure my fold and don't forget around your rows you're gonna have leaves and other stuff so even if it's even if there's a ribbon that is not perfectly perfect it, at the end the overall project this rose will look awesome so don't overstress with making it perfectly perfect all right so i'm gonna hold my ribbons here take my pliers and as i showed you i'm pulling gently that's why it takes me more time pulling gently with giving some movement to go through and when it goes through i stop it there because i want to pull gently so it doesn't it doesn't go through too much and i love how it ended up here i could pull more and make it a little bit thinner but i love it so i'm gonna stop there if you love it you stop there and i'm gonna do about the same so i'm gonna take my rows here create that gap and go back from here to kind of do another layer of petals around the rose middle and i'm pulling gently all right now i want to see where i am because i don't want to tighten up too much to lose that cute fluffy look there because if you pull too much you're gonna lose the fluffiness so again i'm gonna play with the rose so this i can move it a little bit and i'm gonna try to see how it would look good so i'm gonna do a twist again like that and bring it here somewhere and again i'm gonna 
poke through the ribbon twice and I'm gonna end up maybe here a little bit behind because we kind of did a full circle around so I'm gonna try like that and if I don't like I can add more there's no mistake here you can always add more or you know go over again so I'm gonna pull it gently and see how it falls oh look how it forms itself I love that I could pull more but I love that it it kind of creates a little petal here that will fill the gap between this portion and the other one so I'm gonna stop it there I love that rose if you love it you stop there but let's say if there would be a gap there you could just get out let's say if I want to add something here I could pull this get out from here and do just one little loop and go back in and then you would have one more loop here actually maybe I should do that I'm gonna do that just to show you so this I'm done and I won't pull more but let's say I want to add something here so I'm gonna create a space I'm gonna get out gently with my pliers and I don't want to pull too much because I don't want to undo this what I just did with the tension so now I just want to add a little just a little leaf like that you know so I'm gonna go back in right here I'm just creating one little something so I'll poke through I'm gonna hold the ribbon like that to make sure I control it and go back and then and then I'm gonna look what it looks like and pull gently till I love what I see and that could stop there so we have a bigger rose with lots of petals around the rose and we just see it looks like a flower nothing's perfect and nothing's too complicated but we made it really really bigger okay so we just need to cut the end here and at some point I'm gonna sew it with well I could do it right now but um, we're gonna sew it with a sewing thread just to make sure they don't get loose I'll just do a little sewing like that you don't need to do lots of stitching just one or two like that and I could pull this one too but I know it's attached there so I should be okay so I'll just do another one here like that and I'll just do my little knot okay I'm doing a second knot just to secure my knot and at least this rose is now it's now done and won't undo by itself easily so now we're gonna add three other roses around So I'm going to change for a smaller ribbon to make them smaller and I'm going to do a little rose here for, for start. Again, because I'm doing a rose, I'm going to need a little needle to grab this 
portion of the ribbon to make sure it's not too loose. I'll just make sure I grabbed it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go a, a little bit more than an inch. Do a circle around the needle. Come back and do a zigzag stitch through the silk ribbon up to the middle. Poke in like that. Remove that little needle. Then I'm gonna grab the fabric, the ribbon, go through. So I'm holding the ribbons here. I'm gonna grab the pliers and then gently pull through and look at that rose that formed by itself. That's so cute. Okay, I'm going to keep that ribbon there. Here, let's say. I'm always watching what's happening at the back. All right, and I'll do the same. So giving it about a little bit more than an inch, twisting around the needle, and going through the silk ribbon with kind of a zigzag. Going through the fabric, grabbing the fabric and the ribbon. And I'm gonna take my pliers here. Gently going through and gently pulling. And if you see that the rose doesn't seem to be like going round, you can twist a little bit your rows and you pull till you like it. Looks like that. I love it. And now I'm gonna do one last, which can be maybe Here, don't forget, I want to add some ribbons here. I want to add some ribbons here. So I'm gonna go there. This is why we, we never do the same project. We cannot copy a project. Somehow, even if I'm looking at my first heart, the rose doesn't fall about the same place. <laughs> All right, so now this one, I'm gonna give myself about an inch, turn around the needle, and going to a zigzag. Going through, taking the ribbon and the fabric, and now going through with the needle, gently. It seems hard on camera, but it's just, it, it's not hard, it's just that I want to go carefully. Oh, look at that, I've been going through that one. And now pulling it gently so the rose forms by itself. I can twist it a little bit. I don't know why. Sometimes they are perfect and sometimes, I guess it depends, my zigzag, the way I did my sewing on it and the way it fell. Okay, this one I don't like. So I'm gonna pull it like that again and I'm gonna just redo it. Oh, look at that. This time it falls better. There you go. I'm gonna cut. 
and I'm going to do the sewing. Just to make sure it's secure and I won't grab it with when doing my leaves. All right, so just two knots like that. That's all I need. And we don't really care how it looks at the back because this is why we're gonna put another heart there to hide all of that. All right, so we have the rose. Now I'm gonna do the leaves. All right, what about the little leaves? I might want, when I have a pattern like that, I might want to do one leaf that go up there and one leaf that go this way. That's it. So I'm starting from the middle here. I want to get out between. So you can, you can do that with your fabric to see where you're going and making the space. All right, I'm going to leave a little portion there, but I don't really need to put a needle to tack to tack it down because doing a leaf it's not like the rose. We just need to figure out where we want it to fall and then we give it some um, some dimension and then if I decide I want that leaf to end up here, I can just go through and I'm gonna go through like that. And then I just gently pull and look at it and stop it when I like it. So if you want it to be more a loose kind of look like that, you can stop right there. If you tighten it more, like if you pull more, this bulb here will just disappear. I love it this way, so I'm leaving it like that. Now I'm going to come back. When I'm coming back, I tend to try to go through my initial ribbon so I can do it right away like that. This will lock it down. Okay. And now I want to go back about just beside it like that. I'm going to hold everything just to make sure that if I pull too much, I'm not getting all the ribbon and the work that I've done before with me. So I go gently and I watch what's happening at the back. I don't pull too much. Okay. And I'm going to give it again the looseness that it needs. Now, when you have the ribbon like that, you can go into that direction. But if you twist it a little bit, you see how it it goes out there's kind of a fold here like that naturally compared to if you go to that side it's kind of flat i love to put the fold on top so you can twist and you can manipulate your ribbon a little bit that way and now i'm gonna figure out where i want it do I want it to go this way, this way, this way? You know, you place it how you want it. Give it the dimension and the, a, a little bulb like that. And now you can decide if you poke in the middle or a little bit on a side or the other one because your little end knot here will kind of give a different ef effect. So I love to play in the middle. So I'm going to place my leaf like that. And I'm going to go back in here. This will be the end of my leaf where I'm placing my needle. And I'm holding my heart, the fabric and the ribbon with my fingers. And I'm going to go, just go through. Now that I'm through, I'm going to pull on the ribbon gently and when I'm almost there, I'm going to pull gently and watch the effect. And when I love it, I stop. I love it like that. I can pull a little bit more. You see, it would go a little bit too tight for me. 
So I'm going to stop it right there. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Okay, these were bigger because I just wanted to do two. But here I'm going to do smaller leaves. So I'm going to go out just here at the base under the petal, actually. Maybe here like that. So I'm going to pull and I'll just watch carefully what's happening at the back because I just want to make sure. And if I want to get to give it a good tension here without pulling, I'm going to put my finger like that and pull. So this way I cannot go too much by holding the base here. I'm preventing it to kind of pull too much on my previous leaf. And I'm gonna see how I can make my little leaf. So I'm gonna twist it so I have this little twist at the top. And I think I'll just go, look at that, it looks good already. So I'm gonna hold it like that and just go back in see how it's small doesn't need to be bigger i'm gonna hold everything together while i'm pulling and now i'm gonna watch what's happening here that's it i'll stop it there look at that of course you don't see us good as I do but it's better than nothing I guess I'm gonna go back out here to do another leaf here so I'm gonna make myself some space and I'm gonna go out about here I'm gonna hold everything while I'm pulling through and now I'm gonna watch what's happening at the back just to make sure I'm not pulling too much. There you go. And again, I'm gonna create my little leaf. So I can pull, I can twist, I can shake it a little bit to change how it folded. If you're not happy, you can pull it again from the back and pulling it out again by with a little twist or something to change that middle fold here hopefully if you didn't like it okay so i'm happy with that i'm gonna go with something like that so i'm gonna hold it and poke through And now I'm looking how it looks like. Oh, that's it. I can stop it there. I love it that way. So, <laughs> like every leaf that I'm doing, it's kind of a surprise to me as well. So it's really like, I know it's going to look good, but, and I know how to kind of do it, but I never know how it will look like at the end. Literally. Okay, I have those. So now I'm going to I'm going to put like a little polka dot tool here just to give it some dimension. So maybe I just need another just one leaf for that rose like this. And here we're going to have the ribbon and I added those after. So I'm going to create just one leaf like this example here. Boy, you don't see well, eh? the polka dot there's just one little leaf here so I'm gonna do about the same I'm gonna do one leaf about and as you can see if I fold my fabric and I kind of open the rows like that I can see better where I'm getting out okay I'm watching at the back twisting and I'm going to place it to fall somehow 
just here. We just want a little bit of green peeking out here. I don't know what I've done, but it doesn't fall like I want. I'm going to leave it like that. It's not awful, but see, it didn't do it didn't do a leave like I was expecting. All right, so for now, I'm going to cut this ribbon and I'm going to sew it. So for the polka dots, I don't need that much, but I'm just going to do a little, little piece that is not square, that is, that doesn't have straight lines. You know, I'm like that. So I'll just cut here and there like that I just created a piece like that and now I'm gonna fold it different ways and kind of create something out of it place it here and I'm gonna try to sew it with my thread so I'm gonna go from the back go in and I'm gonna place I'm gonna go through by with the stitch it's gonna create some folds and hold it together you see look at that like that and now I could I could stop there and leave that big that big um, piece like that I kind of like it so maybe just grab it a little bit more here I'll just do one more stitch here so really it's the kind of thing that you you kind of have the good material but you don't know how it's gonna end up but until it's cute, I work on it. And if it's cute like that right away, I stop it there. So I'm going to stop it there. And I'm going to do a little knot to secure all of that. And I'll keep my thread there because now I want to create the little bow. So for the little bow, I've been using some chiffon... Um, seam binding and what i've been doing is i've been doing like i'm gonna place one length like that let me go back in the middle i'm gonna place one length like that and i'm gonna secure it by just one little knot going back okay and now i'm gonna place for another one and I can cut it so I have I'm gonna change my scissors look at that I have this length here so I can trim maybe here like that with an angle and now I can just maybe do another stitch here to hold it like I want So I'm going to do another stitch here like that. And I'm not doing knots or anything. I'm just doing little stitches. Now I want to do another, another one. So maybe this one can fall. I don't like this end. It's, I'm going to just cut it a little bit just so it falls better. So like that, this looks good gonna bring it back here let's say and I'm gonna come out and do 
one little stitch to prevent it from moving, fold it and not sure. I'm just looking how it falls. Do I want it on the side here? Maybe this one should go on the side. So I'll make it a little bit smaller like that. And I'm gonna hold it. I could twist it if I want to, to let it fall. I can open it. Well, I guess it won't really do any difference. So I'll just go and stitch. One little knot. So I have all of those so far and I could create maybe one more and then I'll kind of do the little bow. So that one more could be here like that. I'll get out here, go back in. Okay, so it looks like that. And now I'm gonna create some, let me show you like, like the bow here, but it's a fake one. It's just doing like a little bulbiness like that. You, you twist, you kind of go as you want. And I'm gonna use the, the thread to tie it up. And when I'm sewing like that, I can create a fold by going through different place. You know, if I do that, it's kind of grabbing it together. I can maybe add another, like pushing it like that and go back in. Okay, it's hard to see. Now I don't like how it falls here, so I'm gonna go back here, grab this like that and pull it like that and do a stitch just to create a fold on my ribbon. And I can do about the same here as well. So now I'm playing. I know it's hard on camera to see, especially because it's white. But I want to create some sort of a, a fake bow. So I'm going to create a loop like that, maybe on that side. I'm going to create one here. It falls really well here. Maybe this bow will have three. I'm gonna go out here. So really don't think that I know how it will look like. I just work with the flow. I just really like, I know how to kind of create some sort of a fake bow, but I don't know how it will look like. This one, and if you want to keep your attention like that, I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna create just a little knot at the back. Cause so far I've been doing a lot of stitches, but no knots so i'm gonna do one knot and this will kind of secure all what i've done so far and see here that bulkiness i'm not sure if i like it what about if i do that you see 
if I do that. So I'm going to go back out and do that. So let's say I do this and then I just... It's a trial, but you can't really go wrong. So don't be afraid to try. So with that stitch like that, when I'm pulling, you see? You see, right? So I love that. I'm going to secure it with the good tension. So I'm going to do one little knot this is to keep the tension now i'm going to look at that and i'm going to trim that that one as well and i can trim more at the end if i don't like now if i look at that i'm going to put a leaf or two here to do the finishing but i could just you know, if this one I don't like how it falls, I can twist it and maybe just do one little stitch somewhere to control how it looks like. It's like for this one, it's a large one here. I could just pinch it somewhere and create a different look by doing one stitch and kind of controlling how it goes and i like this so i'm gonna go back here and just do one little stitch here to kind of hold it there so i just look at the project and here there's a big kind of it goes uh, up like that this I'm gonna grab it with the leaf but I love it like that or maybe I could do just a little stitch here I'm gonna do just a little stitch here a little little it doesn't show because it's white on white but it kind of plays the ribbon to fall where I want and I'm going to secure all of that. We just need now to do the final two little leaves. Okay, now that I stop holding it, I find this one going really crazy. So I'm going to come back and attach it. I'm going to come back. So. Okay, I'm gonna gonna do my little knot like that, and I just want to bring it somewhere like that. So Just go out like that. Is it better now? Yeah. Okay, there was one crazy seam binding that I forgot. So see, you can always come back and fix it or add one more. Or cut one more all right we are going with that and this one I'm gonna trim it a little bit shorter maybe the other way <laughs> see you play you play and at some point it becomes a masterpiece all right, so now let's go back with the, the green ribbon to add a little bit of greenery here, like this, like this. 
So I'm going to try to get out here in the middle. Leaving the minimum behind. And I'm going to do one that goes in that direction. Like just like that. Slowly I'm watching what's happening. This is fine. And now I'm going to get back about, about the same place where I was. Right there, it's good. Okay, I'm watching at the back just to make sure I'm not pulling on my leave for too much. And now this one will be the one that makes that, that makes the final touch. So I want it to go here and hide this somehow. So maybe just like that. just like that holding it firmly and now I'm gonna look how it looks I can leave it like that I kind of like it or I can pull a little bit more oh yeah I like it too like that look at that I'm trying to go to do a good close-up we are done. I'm trimming and I'm going to do a little sewing of the green here to secure it. I am pretty happy with those roses and uh, the look overall. It's really, really shabby chic. So I'm going to do a speedy mode for the remaining of the video just to show you the finishing touches. Um, nothing there to learn that much like you all know by now how to do French knots. And uh, after that it's going to be slow stitching around the heart. So I just love doing the French knots like that, like if it's polka dot. It's so easy to do. So relaxing too, I find. You can put some music on and kind of just relax. If you love doing puzzles or doing little brain-free games, it's quite the same, but at least you are creative and you, you kind of make something out of it that you keep. This is what I love about embroidery is that we, we cannot really buy that in stores. So you can find some in antiques, but if you can do it yourself, then you're in business to, to do everything that you really love, your style and that kind of stuff. And then you can relax at the same time. I, I find it's a peaceful creativity. So now I'm going to do the slow stitching. So I begin from between my two hearts to hide the little knot. And I'll just do like a hand stitch all around the heart. I just make sure that I place my fabric correctly. Maybe for the next stitch as well, at least. And I do one or two stitch and I place them back just to make sure, especially at the beginning because you give it kind of the uh, angle that it needs to to go through the whole thing because if you start with the wrong angle with the fabric, well, you're gonna have to undo at some point. So again, that slow stitching, handmade stitches are so relaxing. And satisfying to do because you see the project 
taking place. I'm trimming the, the lace. It was not, it was too perfect. <laughs> so I removed little portions of it, placing back all of my hearts the way I want. And then I'm stitching that middle heart, the one that we just worked on. I'm stitching it to the other hearts at three places. So in the middle and on the sides as well. So three three places to make sure they don't, the heart doesn't uh, flap to the middle. Now I have a little piece of fabric that I've trimmed really thin and I'm making a knot and I'm gonna just sew the knot through all the arts, except the top in the middle. Um, I'll just do some end stitching and attach it to secure it. Nothing really fancy, nothing really I can show you how to do because I don't have a specific technique, I just go, I do, <laughs> I pass the needle and the thread through two, three times and I just try to make sure that I grab all the layers of the hearts and that my stitches are not showing too much. That's, that's all I would say. There's, there's no technique there that I can share or know some little tips or tricks about that. I, I just do it. And I guess you, you can you can figure out yourself how to do that. It's pretty basic, I guess. Don't forget to do the little knots to secure everything. I really tend to do two knots all the time. The first is to lock everything down and the second is to lock the first. <laughs> that's how it works in my head I, I hope I'm not wrong so now I'm gonna twist you can see I've twisted the fabric I'm gonna do my little knot now that I know where I want it and <clears throat> I'm trying to kind of create a knot where the fabric stays to the wrong side the good side after the knot and now I'm gonna try like if I fold it I twist it one two or three times I'm just playing but at the end I just kept one twist just one so I hope you it inspired some of you and I just find that it's a perfect gift for Mother's Day like to your mom or to your daughter if she's a mom already and uh, because it is so feminine so feminine i i really think that every woman kind of like that even if it wouldn't match their decoration or their style they would still love that so um that's the end for this week Thanks for watching and God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.